What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video of the Roll Down Loft. Today, I am back at my parents' place looking over the kit boxes and the breeder loft. Um, I decided that since my parents are still going to be here until the end of summer, I'm going to be raising some rollers and maybe some other stuff. But just came out here today to make sure everything is still here before I bring some birds over. Um, the birds I'm going to be bringing over are just a bunch of random rollers. Um, kind of unknown bloodlines, but they all do roll. So I'm just going to be throwing them together to see what I can produce. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to fly them long enough to see if they will be any good or not. Uh, my buddy did tell me that they all roll. They all been flown out. Uh, the only issue is these are like trouble, trouble birds that give my buddies uh, troubles when he's flying his birds so he doesn't want his other birds to learn bad habits so he told me if I take them I could take them if not he's gonna call them all so I've decided that I'm gonna take them so probably we'll be picking them up in a couple days here just came over to my parents place to double check everything make sure everything's still good you see there's some seeds right there from mice but it doesn't look like any mice are living in here there was a mice living here at, at one point but that was like last fall but looks like it hasn't been in here for a while so i think we should be good still got my feeders that need to be cleaned out looks like there's some mice poop in there so we're gonna make sure we clean these out really really good before um, we use them on the pigeons but still got all these still got my feeder trays right here so this one's good i know for sure there wasn't mice living in this blue kit box open it up and see what is going on yep you can still see the nest right there i don't think it's in there anymore but because every time i come over i'll be poking this and there'll be a mice that runs out but i think i don't think there's anything in there anymore but i probably should clean it out still got my feeder main loft feeder in here still got all my nest bowls which is good still got my perches right there so yeah this should be good just needs a light cleaning and we should be good to go main breeder loft still looks the same as it did last year there are signs that there were mice living in here could potentially still be mice living in here but um not 100 sure so we'll find out still stinks a little bit because i know there were mice for sure that were living in here but i did clean it up before i decided i was going to quit raising birds but as you can see all this freaking mice chewed up holes in this shed kind of pissed me off but whatever i mean that's what happens when you raise birds um luckily there's no leaks from the outside so this is just this stuff is just cosmetic so it should be fine everything still looks all right i did put a bunch of mice poison food there and they're all gone so it does a little stink a little bit in here so i don't know if there's dead mice in here or not but probably take this stuff out and rearrange everything but yeah so i'm pretty much going to rearrange all this stuff like how it was before and this Sunday, probably gonna run to my buddy's house and throw some more, or grab some birds and throw them in here. Um, I think he has maybe like four pairs. Um, I don't think they're necessarily all paired up, but I think he says he has four hens and four cocks, so that's the plan. Um, I do really wanna raise some utility birds. Um, utility birds are just pretty much big, big pigeons that are bred for meat. I do got some over here, but I don't know what's really going on over here because i know there were some other pigeons that we mixed in with the the king utility pigeons and now i don't know there's a bunch of mixed birds in here so i don't really know which ones are which all i know is one of the original cock birds has a ban on it i don't remember if the hen has a ban but all i know in here is that we have king pigeons that are probably crossed with maybe some rollers and maybe some homers like there's this cream 
cream bird right there that's probably mixed with like a homer or something or like a street pigeon um, there was a street pigeon living in here I think that bird there's a bird you can't really see it but there's a bird right there looks like probably a street pigeon there's a blue bar right there I think that blue bar is a street pigeon slash roller but I think my parents are probably going to go through these birds and cull the smaller ones to keep the bigger ones. It's been so hard trying to find utility birds. It's like no one wants to sell them. I don't know why. I mean, they're not. I don't think they're hard to breed or anything. It's just not a lot of people have them. And my plan is to try to find some maybe at the local pigeon slash animal swaps. So still got this whole summer to try to find some. So hopefully I could find. I would really like to find some before the end of June. Just because I'm limited to how much time I have to raising birds. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, yes, that's the plan. Uh, we're going to go pick up some birds. I'm probably going to run a Menards real quick after this. Uh, pick up some wood pellets and lay the wood pellets down. But, the plan is we're going to raise birds until maybe, like, the end of August or something. Um, after that, my buddy is going to take both my kit boxes. And he might take... The shed too, if we could take the shed apart. Uh, doesn't look too difficult to take apart. So we'll see what happens. We could take that apart. He'll probably take that with him too. Um, so I'm probably not going to be raising any special birds at all. Like no Danny Corny stuff. Um, no Jay Starley stuff. Um, I lost a lot of the good Jay Starley stuff because I gave it to my buddy. And things happened and I lost pretty much all those birds. Um, my other buddies still has a few but he doesn't have the main stuff anymore so uh, that was a tough loss but that's just what happens when you can't raise birds and you put your birds in someone else's hands and you know things just happen and just all your power so you know you live and you learn which isn't a big deal but yeah just gonna be raising regular birds and hopefully in the next three years i'll be able to find a place where i could raise birds I actually moved to a new place that isn't too far from here maybe like 10 minutes the only thing is that that house is a, in an association so usually when you live in an association they're really strict you can't really do anything like that so i'm probably won't be able to raise any birds over there but for the time being at least i could try to raise some birds here uh, make you guys some videos and take it from there and hopefully you know you guys enjoy my videos for like short period of time and i probably probably will be gone for another three four years until i come back and make new videos but i probably will try to go out to other people's lofts and if i get permission film film their lofts film their kit birds you know film everything and just kind of get in-depth information of how they do things with their birds and their style of things and what families they raise and just i guess small documentary stuff like that i've always wanted to do that just never really had the time but since I don't have birds of my own. Maybe I could spend that time to do that now. But yeah, that's pretty much the plan right now. I'm just going to rearrange everything and just wanted to give you guys this announcement. So uh, expect to see videos uh, coming out soon. Probably will be. I'm going to try to make maybe like anywhere from two to three videos a week, depending on how things go. If things go good. I'll make a lot of videos. If things don't go that great, then I might not make a lot of videos. But yeah, that's pretty much for the news, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, go ahead and click that like button. If you aren't subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll check you guys out next time.